Now what are you doing? What are you doing? You eating? I got some pecans in my pocket right now here now. What are you eating over there? Cat food or you you still looking for pecans? Hmm? What'd you find? Stay right there. I'm not gonna bug on you. <laughs> I ain't gonna bug on that. I ain't gonna bug on that raccoon. I ain't bugging on him. Man, it's 64 degrees. Kind of chilly on me. It get below 72. I'm cold. 72 and I'm cold. It's 64 right now. Looks like he's eating some of that cat food. When you eat some of that cat food right there, I'll give you some pecans in a minute now. I got them in my pocket. <laughs> he ain't gonna wait. He gonna dig a hole. He'll make a mess. Yeah, he'll make a mess. He don't want to see him. He's making a mess right now. Some of them raccoons are like that. You run out of pecans, they'll make a mess. <laughs> he said right there, he says, Pecan hairs for that raccoon, what that bag said. It says, Pecan hairs give to the raccoon. <laughs> Pecan hairs give to the raccoon here. Back your nose up. Come here. Back your nose up. He's rambunctious now. He'll bite me now. Back up. Back up. I was scared of him. I was scared. That raccoon, I was scared of that raccoon then now. Sometimes they get wild like that right there. They get rambunctious. And they'll bite. But sometimes they're they'll all uh, <clears throat> the raccoons that do that and they'll just grab my hand. And they'll just grab my hand right there and uh hold on to one they'll hold hold on to my hand there and until I give them something then they'll let go. A lot of not a lot, but sometimes they'll they'll bite my hand. They don't break the skin, they'll just clamp down on my hand like that. Or my finger with their mouth. They won't break the skin, they'll just hold me. They'll just hold me in their mouth, then they'll figure out who I am, then they'll let me go. <clears throat> but sometimes I have to throw the food down in front of them now. <laughs> I was touching your finger that time, me and you. We'll play patty cake, me and you, patty cake, patty cake, baker man. Come on, me and you gonna play patty cake. Patty cake, patty cake, baker man. Put more pecans in the pan. <laughs> I ain't gonna put my finger close to his mouth because he might be hungry enough to bite tonight. Can't remember who that raccoon is. Hadn't seen that raccoon right there in a few days or a week. If you'll notice how he did lay down in the bowl, he took he took his whole body and just laid it down in the food bowl. He's the only one that does that. He sure thanks you for them their pecans. He loves pecans. Quarter after one, one thirty in the morning right now, raccoon. Twenty minutes after one right now on that raccoon. Twenty minutes after one. He got some big old arms on him. His wrists are big. His back feet ain't as big as some of the raccoons, but his wrists are pretty good size. And don't get over there and make a mess. Eat half of it, spit it out, and don't eat, finish it up. Sometimes they'll do that. They'll eat some of the rac they eat raccoons will eat some of the pecans, eat some of the other food, then they'll spit it back out. Sometimes they'll eat it. Sometimes they'll just leave it sitting there. I got to sit down, raccoon. I got to get off. I got to sit here like this. Come here. Get up here. Come on, get back up here. Come on.
Are you that girl? That might be that girl. And there's only one girl that comes up here sometimes that I've noticed most. I'm going to say 95% of the raccoons that come up here are males. I don't understand that why 95% of them be males and the other 5% be females. I, I've always wondered about that. I don't know why it's not half and half. Half females and half males, but... He might be a male there, but... I'm not sure. Sometimes it hadn't happened in a while, and in a couple of years, a female come up here and I feed her, and then she'll bring the babies back whenever uh, they get born, and now I'll have five or six um, raccoons running around. And they don't just hang around here. Like I say, I live in the city. Uh, as a, you know, some uh, during the week there's 5,000 cars drive past my house. About one block from my house, about 5,000 cars will drive past my house. Yeah, like what you got on your nose? <laughs> he got something on his nose. His nose, nose. Or her nose, nose. I call all of them him, he. Oh, nice raccoon right there. He ain't a mess maker either. He's a nice raccoon. He only makes a small mess. <laughs> he makes a small mess. Yeah, that's the male there. That's another male. There was a female coming up here, but I don't see her very often. You a clumsy old butterfinger. Yeah, down the road, the people got some chickens down there, but they let the chickens out because the chickens would walk across the street, you know, and you just see the chickens down there and all, and uh, but they put food out for the chickens there, and I think the raccoons go down there and eat some of that food. I remember growing up, we used to have chickens have to go out there and get the eggs. Get the eggs uh, out, of the, out of the nest. I was growing up there, lived on a dirt road. Two times a week, the milkman would come by with the milk in the truck. And the milk come in glass jugs. And we'd stand out there on the side of the dirt road, wait on the milkman to come by there, and he'd give us the milk, and he'd give us some little, little tiny chocolate things, or about this here big, you know, little, little half pint, quarter pints, whatever there was. He'd give us, me and my brother there, we'd wait, my little brother, but he'd give us that. We'd be happy as everything. Yeah, back then the milkman come by and bring milk and butter and... What you thinking? Hmm? Don't come down here and pick on me now. <laughs> he was thinking about picking on you. I see your eyeballs down there. I'm looking at you and you looking at me. I can see your eyeballs. What are you doing down there? He's gonna dig a hole probably. 
You can see his eyes. That's what he's doing now. They're digging holes. Yeah, there's a couple places in my yard that the raccoons love to dig holes. They go down there and get them white grubs. I think last year I, plant, I planted a uh, toggle worm tree. Toggle worm. And uh, people, I people uh, they love to fish with them things them toggle worms you take the toggle worm they get on them trees you get them off and then you turn the toggle worm inside out and put it on your fishing pole let me see what they made over here actually i planted uh See right there, see where he chewed that one up? Ant right there. Ant. See that? There's another one right there. Slug. My yard has a hundred of them slugs. I don't know if the raccoons eat them things or not. I don't see why, why they would not. They got a lot of juice, a lot of protein probably. I don't see him down there. All right, it's about 115, 120 right now, something like that. Put this up here. You can go back inside for a minute or two. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah stop this video.